sounds good. And also the music from Station Square. and make sure nothing breaks. Thank you, thank you. Good morning. Hello. Uh, here's the, uh, the how to play. I'm oh, assuming you can see everything. Fun. Yeah. Interesting enough, I'm not getting any music through the screen share. Um, it may not be giving you audio through the screen share. Yeah, yeah. Or, no, this should be. Maybe it's just too quiet. I don't know. I, I've got this screen share, I've got this, I've got the screen share on max. Let me check my volume mixer. Nope, everything's on max. Well, I hope you get audio. I can just listen to the the, the, the twitch.tv audio. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. excited because i'm excited i'm 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 i love fan games like i feel i feel like it's something i want to delve into more especially after getting this taste of uh Boko on infinite fusion and just like oh there's so much good shit out here and it's just like waiting to be you know discovered yeah. not necessarily discovered but like for me to try drop the desktop audio just a tad so that way we are at approximately the same level i'm a little bit further than my mic from my microphone than normal okay
Okay, so the thing about Neo Cities is also that um, if you pay five dollars a month, you can you know you gain the ability to drop in a custom domain if you have one and uh, increase mm. storage capacity because for the free stuff you only get a gig of storage. Okay, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. fine with me because most of like anything that I need to put on there, like picture-wise or what have you, I'm already hosting via a WordPress page somewhere else. Hmm. Heck, even my uh, the image I use for my favicon isn't something I uploaded there. I just pulled the uh, my profile picture from Twitter because Twitter's hosting it already. Yeah, yeah. So mm. I just copied the URL. Nice. Um, the title updated, right? On the stream? Mm hmm Okay. So it doesn't... I have to refresh my stream dashboard in order to see it, and I don't ever do that. Yeah, yeah. I love the Station Square music. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I also, this is a thing that is nostalgic because I definitely did spend a lot of time in just hanging out in Station Square mm -hmm. and um, the Mystic Ruins. Yeah. I wish that this um, version of it on YouTube did just have the ambient sounds of in the game. I, I mm -hmm. want to hear uh, the lady over the intercom saying the, the train to the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be a really nice touch. Alright. And I'm gonna just go ahead and cut the music. It is time for me to switch things. There we are. Alright, um, so I have acquired here five of the fan games that was put up for the Sonic, or was it, the, I want to make sure I say the right thing, the Sonic Amateur Games Expo, for, mm -hmm. it's Sage 20 and 2020 is their 20th anniversary of doing Sage. That's um, so cool. It's very cool. <laughs> It's a lot of fan games of Sonic and other franchises, even also just like some original stuff that gets put up there that's based on or inspired by. It's all very neat, um, mm -hmm. which is why we're going to play some. And I have not played all of them, and I don't want anyone out there being rude about it. Yeah. Because fan games are great, fan art is great, it's mm -hmm. all good. Yeah. These are. These took work. Even even if you may not think so, you being whoever's listening to this, but like, you know, this it still take, takes hard work to to put these kind of projects together. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna get into this first one, which is called Combi Ring Advanced, mm -hmm. and it is a game that is based off of the um, the mechanics of Knuckles Chaotix, which is a game for the Sega 32X. Well, I'm gonna start the game real quick. See if their OBS caught it. Yep. Good morning. Um, you may not have heard it crash, but uh, when it showed the developer thing, it played the "Good Morning" clip from Billy Hatcher. Mmm. 
Um, basically, so in this game, you're playing as Amy and Cream, and you're connected with a, like, tether, and you can use that for momentum stuff. You mostly play as Amy. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the options. This all seems fine. Mm -hmm. There's different things you could just set it up fully smooth instead of smooth pixel. Put in scan lines. Have a CRT filter. <laughs> I was playing with smooth pixel. It didn't seem bad. I wonder what it would yeah. look like in smooth, but we're not going to. Yeah, yeah. There's also online co-op. We'd have to connect like IP to IP, and that's not a thing I'd want to try to do on stream. Mm-hmm. Trying to remember all the buttons, and instead I got launched off. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. So we have hammer. Got a jump. Got hold. Oh, okay. Basically, you can take advantage of that, like, rubber band snap. your momentum up. Oh, wow. This is like... I'm starting to see where the idea of Snulf came from, from this. Let me see if I can do the thing. Nope, instead I'm gonna hit a thing. It's fine. I was gonna try to hang cream off the bottom. Oh. <laughs> and so I could collect all the rings underneath. Mm. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we, again, we need the momentum, so... The hammer is not an effective mode of combat in this game. Yeah, I think it, uh... I think it, it feels a little bit better in advance. I don't know why, though. So we can do, like, a little spring-loaded jump. Mm. It's also one of those things where uh, Amy is actually not capable of doing a spin dash. Mm, okay. She can do like a little slide though. Oh, do we have to go back? I think we have to go back. Yep. Uh, the music is good. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of like synth pop. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, those those uh, cog wheels are a fun mechanic with everything else going on. You can definitely just get hit by obstacles twice, basically. Yeah, I... <laughs> Yeah, that's an interesting bit of management to make sure, like, Cream's not going wild now, and, like... Luckily, you're damage. not dying from lack of ring in this game. Mm -hmm. You mostly, uh, in, in the original game, you could use it as sort of like a screen clear, almost, I think. Where you would just make your partner really big. Mmm. Okay. I think. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I watched anyone play that game. <laughs> Alright, Amy and Cream got through Act 1. 
and that's it. It's just the one act. But okay. I think mechanically it's very solid. I'm excited because I love the idea of Knuckles Chaotix and I love Amy and Cream. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Um, congratulations, Fickle Heart. You did yeah. a very good job. Yeah, that that's a really, really promising demo. I think, I think they got that, the core... I think they got the core down. It's just I'm really curious to see what uh, levels they end up putting in. Mm-hmm. Alright, so that's it for Combi Ring. I'm going to put on Station Square again while I set up the next game, uh, which will be Sonic Galactic, which is just sort of like a traditional Sonic 2D platformer with like a couple of like different characters than you would expect in addition to Sonic and Tails. Some of these games are just not going to be centered on my template, and that is fine. Yeah. So I'm doing it all on the fly. Alright, this one is the Tad Loud. So I'm going to drop the volley as soon as I can. Okay, I have to do it in my sound mix. It is very loud. Alright, remind me who the friend with the cowboy hat is. So that's Fang the Sniper, also known as Knack the Weasel. Okay. He's from okay. Sonic the Fighters, and he has a gun. Mm hmm. Alright. That, that, that sounds familiar, thank you. <laughs> Alright, these are my files, so we're just gonna go ahead and um, start a new one. Alright. Or you know what? No, we'll just go into this one with Sonic. Alright, so Verdant Isle. We got our jump. We got a second jump mm. button. This is a Sonic. Mm hmm. God, I love, I love this pixel style. Yeah, it's like not even like Sonic Mania. Mm hmm. Oh, it's got the uh, the drop dash from Sonic Mania. Speaking of, mm. Actually, I do want to go back. Okay, I was making sure they didn't do the the blue ring. Or the the blue spheres minigame thing. This mm. is where a Chaos Emerald zone would be if they existed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I know that part of the map isn't a cool S, but it looks a lot like a cool S. Yeah, yeah, it's like you could very easily like fill in the lines to make it the cool S. I like those like bit of like bouncy like lines in the the world. It's like. A fun mechanic to it's uh to... it's very sonic three and knuckles mm. right. that's the the tune for you got an extra life because you collected a bunch of rings hell yeah I also kind of like watching Sonic 
fall, like fly vertically through the air like nose first. Yeah, he doesn't get to do it often. Only if he hit a spring. Mm. Oh, actually, we need to go back and hit that, uh... Because we are coming up on a boss fight. Oh, okay. And this is like a Sonic Advance style boss fight where you are running. Mmm. It's just like a really big catter killer. Mmm. -hmm. Likes to hide its head in the sand and be like, mm, don't bump me, please. Whoops. Uh, the music is also very good in this game. I will mm. say, a lot of these fan games just have really stellar music. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a case of the second time the charm here. Hmm. You're also seeing it actually do like a different pattern for once instead of being stuck in that one cycle. Well, I mean, that's that's the pattern is you hit it three times on that and then it switches over to the other one where you hit it three times again. Gotcha, gotcha. I really like, I really like this general style of this game. It's very good. It's very appealing. Mmm. Alright, it's time for Act 2. So we're probably not going to play, th there's four different playable characters, we're probably not going to play through these levels four times. Mm. Um, but I do want to show off each of the characters. I've only played really? as two of them, but one yeah, of them yeah. is a character I really want to show off. I don't know why I did that, but I certainly did it. Sometimes uh, things happen. It's okay. There we go. Mm. Yeah, I think you got a couple of like frames of that like turn back animation that like made you lose speed. Yeah. Jingle twice because because of both score and rings, I think. I don't know. Mm -hmm. This sounds about right. Whoops. Did not expect that to be a, a jump. I say having definitely having played this game before. <laughs> Alright, so now it's time for a more traditional Sonic boss. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a weird spinny top. I tried to hit it while it's up there, but I think you actually do have to wait for it to come down. Mm -hmm.
Uh, yes, so this one was uploaded to this thing by Lilac, and you can see the rest of the, the credits here. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's why the sprite work is impeccable, because they had a lot of hand working on this. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I might actually have to look up Sean Evans and see if he has any other, or they have any other work out there, because mm -hmm. um, this this music is very good. Yeah, yeah, I would be very curious to see if they've contributed to other games before. Or even if they've just, like, put stuff out on SoundCloud or something, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Wiz Toad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from what I've heard, I, I definitely think. Dash boy parentheses tuna. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Saturn's ring. But most importantly, thank you for playing. See you next time on Sonic Galactic. It's a very appealing game. Mm hmm. I'm gonna let the the title screen thing play it this time, because it's not super yeah. loud. It's just very cute. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna show off the uh the original character for this game. This game has an original character in it. Good, yes. Ugh. Their name is Tunnel and they are a mole. I love this friend! Look how cute they are. So, so, yeah. so they got like a, a down dash then? Their gimmick is that they burrow into the ground. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's such an interesting way to like... Also lets you uh, break through bridges. Mm. I don't know, it's just it's it's a very interesting way to like think about like navigating through like sonic levels in a in a way that I've not seen the game like played before. It's just really fun to do, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really fun. Time? Yep, these levels are, you know, they're like a classic Sonic level in that there's a lot of paths actually. God. I think that's probably one of my favorite bits about like classic Sonic. Okay, so actually, this here is something that only Tumble can get through. Ooh. Because of their downward digging technique. Oh, that's very good.
Mm, that was such a neat section. Yeah. We'll go to the boss and then I'll um, I'll exit out and switch to a different character. That sounds good. It's also, it's like a super jump, is that another mm -hmm. thing about it, is it's just very good in general. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, new save. We're going to play as... Oh, I forgot Knuckles is in this game, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, uh, the mole and Knuckles look a little similar on the title screen. Yeah, I just, like, I know Knuckles is also on the title screen. I just, my brain is like, it's four characters. It's Sonic, Tails, uh, Fang, and Knuckles. But no, also, er, Tunnel and Knuckles here too, because mm -hmm. there's five characters. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll do, yeah, we'll do Knuckle. Yeah. I'm gonna guess he has, yep, got the glide. Mm hmm. That's a cute animation. The the quickly turning ar around one. Oh no, that is. Oh, we got a bubble shield. Oh wow! I thought those gave you a double jump. Am I wrong? I I thought they did too. Well, I guess maybe I can't do it because I have knuckles slide. And it's throwing it off. Mmm. That could be it. Oh, I like his little, like, crashing down to the earth uh, animation his little, after the glide. His little penguin slide. Mm-hmm. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's... That's really cool. This is... It's well animated. Yeah! Alright, I think that's what we need to see of Knuckles. Let's, um... Let's give Fang and then we'll end on Tails. Sounds good to me. So, with Fang is you got a double jump because you have a gun. Okay. I like the crouch. Also, mm. the animation of going into crouch is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so if you charge it, you go higher. Nice. Oops. Yeah, I guess if you save it until you're closer to the ground, it launches you more. Whoa, hold on. I do need to look at this animation some more. Mmm, good. This is a fun character to defeat enemies as. Mm -hmm. This is you don't have to land on them, you can just give them a little bop. Yeah.
All right. We got the hang of that. Mm -hmm. And tail. Oh, I just love mm -hmm. to see tails do a run. Ah, uh, they, they do the propellers, the propeller tails. Okay, if you mash tails as tails, you go up. Oh. Oh, he does. He does tire out. That's that feels bad. Yeah, I was just surprised that it took that long. Mm -hmm. It is pretty generous. It's also has a very pleasant noise. Mmm. Yeah, it's like repetitive, but it's not a harsh sound. Yeah, it's a soothing repetitive. Mm. Tails was my favorite character to play as in Sonic Adventure. Tails, Sonic, or, or, Tails is just like a very good Sonic character in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The more I've like come to learn about like, the like the incarnations of the characters throughout all the different like, versions and whatnot, I think Tails remains my baby boy. Tails' is really fast run animation is very good. Mm-hmm. I also love that they just kept his, like, very aesthetically pleasing, like, orb tails form for the, like, the crouch run. Yeah. For the wall, I guess. Oh, that reminds me. I do need to... Oh, no! <laughs> Baby! <laughs> okay. Oh, can we find a wall to push up again? Maybe. Hold on. Whoops. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so determined. Yeah, lots of determined eyebrows tails in this game. Mm -hmm. Makes my heart happy. Also, uh... Tails move in time with the, uh, the sound that it makes. <laughs> Do a little putter. Oh, I need to come back here with Tunnel. Hold on. <laughs> or I wonder if I can go over. This one is good. Mm -hmm. I love it a lot. Yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. Yeah. Thumbs up. Keep up the good work, Sonic Galactic crew. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so this next one is one that I haven't played yet, but I've been wanting to play this entire time. Um, OK, let me just read this readme real quick. Okay, I just teleporting if I needed to, um, in case there's bugs, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a button to kill the boss instantly, in case you're running, you really in a hurry during streaming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me allow my computer to run this game. So then I can. Oh, it's big. So 
So this is Sonic and the Mayhem Master. And it is far too large. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like approximately right. Ooh, I like this friend. I just love the art style of this a lot. Mm. Shout out, uh, this one's by Trinitroid. I'm already impressed. Oh. Music the title screen. All of the soundtracks are not officially made. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. This road map too. You need to turn down the volume just a tad. Alright, we'll just hit a new game, I guess. Alright. I cannot see anything in the chat if there's anything in the chat during this game because this screen is very large. <laughs> I, uh, I have my eyes on chat. About their wonderful tale of the mechanical unknown. <laughs> this is one of their very adventures that you will seek. Mm hmm. So I just refill my health with the guest pump, I guess. Or gas pump. Looks good, looks good. Perpetual energy. Ooh. Oh, I see cards. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I know about time to hit. Why am I doing that into it? Ah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Just 
how much bullets does this thing have? <laughs> This one isn't necessarily a ROM hack. This one is a, an, an original game made in Game Maker Studio. Oh, what's being said in the chat? Oh, uh, we got a question. So this one isn't a ROM hack? No. I don't know what this is. I don't know anything that's happening. It's like... Kind of giving me Undertale feelings. Yeah, but I don't. How? Okay. I think I might have. I might have figured it out for this time. Yeah. Like, I knew this one was going to be, like, an RPG-style thing, I just didn't know, you know? Mm -hmm. Also, I think, to be clear, none of them have been ROM hacks so far. They've, yeah. They've been, like, custom things made in Unity and stuff like that. Mm. It didn't let me... Oh, I guess because I didn't have enough energy. Okay, the energy goes down while I'm doing that. Gotcha. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Mm.
I feel like this is a sequel to a game I haven't played. Yeah, yeah. And now, and now I'm like just deeply interested in whatever game I haven't played. <laughs> So yet slender body. Mm-hmm. <laughs> glowing orb. I love this character. <laughs> this character design. Mm. Oh, um, so in the chat, uh, someone asked, uh, so they use sprites and stuff from Sonic Advance. No, um, we, we put this in the Sonic Advance category, but it's, we're playing a lot of fan games tonight, and it's just kind of like, all over so we just kind of picked a sonic game that was a favorite of ours and just kind of like jumped into that category yeah it's not necessarily like using sprites and stuff from sonic advance as far as i can tell there's no good twitch category for sonic fan games you know mm -hmm. yeah so we just we just picked a personal favorite and just kind of stuck with it <laughs> the guide in case that goggle head forgot <laughs> Actual gun. Good to know. <laughs> Remember to steal some milk in this fridge. Oh, the one where we were tails. Um, that one was. I, I, from what it looked like, it looked like from the ground up. Custom yeah. sprite work. Um, yeah, they had like a lot of uh, people credited for working on sprites. Um, mm -hmm. I think Combi Ring, which, which is what we started the stream with, used uh, Sonic Advance sprites, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Game saved. Oh, we got a developer commentary. Mm -hmm. Wait, I want to know about the card one. Where do I go to play the card one? 
<laughs> right? Is that like the previous game system? having this little developer commentary. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what a cool robot. Oh, I like them. to look at here. <laughs> we are just going to read page two also. write this down anyways in case it is important. Right, right. One equals loaf of bread. Three equals bottles of milk. One one set of fresh eggs. Mmm, not a dozen. <laughs> One cooking oil. Good phrasing.
Luca. Okay, music's getting a little weird. It, it's fun. This thing moved when I came in, didn't it? <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't catch it. I know you said Undertale, but you know what this is actually giving me vibes of? Hmm. Jimmy what? and the Pulsating Mass. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, it is like a... It's more of like an RPG one. Mm-hmm. I guess it's probably like Earthbound adjacent, but I've never really played much of those. Yeah. I played some of the first one and then it instant killed me at some point and I just stopped playing. Yeah. I, uh, I put Mother 1 plus 2 and Mother 3 on my 3DS recently. Yeah. I have also played Mother 1 plus 2. That's like the version that I have tried. Mm hmm. From Jazz Jackrabbit 2. Okay. Good. That's a jam. Like now that this area's layout is giving me like Pokemon gym feels. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, you again. Oh, okay, there's ground thing. Ground hazard. Oh, okay. I was wondering what those bars were. Still got me, even though I knew it was happening. <laughs> this is like a really I, I love the low level up. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a- this is such a like intricate and fascinating combat system. Uh-oh. Code error. Fatal error. Oh no! Well... We didn't even get to any of the bosses that I can teleport to, is the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I love this. I, it would be a very long stream if I just opened it up and we tried to get to there again and pass that. It seems like this is actually a very long demo, is the thing. Mm. Um, but that's very impressive, and I loved the look of it. Yeah, yeah, that has a lot of really unique and charming things going for it, and I wish the people working on it the best of luck, and... I, I hope you're able to, to get this finished, because this came out, like, this demo's really good. Uh, so shout out again to Trinitroid. Yeah. Alright, um, next up is Sonic Relighted. Oh, this, it put me in full screen. Hold on. Oh, it's loud. I need it to stop. I need it to stop being... Okay, first things first. Sound. Lower. Okay, we'll start with off and we'll go from there. Okay. 
full screen. Off. Confirm. Okay, it has to restart. Good. Sega! Nope, that's full screen again. I told you to not be full screen. Mm. And it didn't save my sound settings either. Hmm. Well, okay. Here's what I can do. So I can still make this work by... Just gonna go in here, drop the volume a lot. Pull this up. Just gonna make it work. I just won't be able to see anything at all this time. Well, now I'm trying to turn it back up, and it is. There we go. Well, I could turn the voices up, but not anything else, I guess. Mm. This is not voting well for me trying to play it. <laughs> well, yeah. I am going to quit again because not having sound is bad. I would rather have sound, please. Okay. Is that a reasonable enough sound? Okay, let's give it. Okay, so this one's supposed to be like an isometric kind of like Sonic 3D Blast, um, mm. which is a game that people don't really like very much. <laughs> Um, but we have a little animatic here, I guess. Oh, nice. Okay, I was wondering if he was talking to Tails, but no, he is just talking to the tornado. <laughs> Pressing the any key. I'm trying to press the any key. There we go. I have lost all the sound again. Alright, well, we'll give it a try. I'll give it an honest try, but. Yeah, I can't even change the options from in the game. Okay. Mm. Well. This camera feels bad. It's just because it's moving like way too fast for the game, I think. Yeah, yeah. I kind of wish it like was a little bit more fixed in its position. There we go. I think just the movement is too fast. Because I can't even, like, it's hard for me to aim my jumps, which is mm. currently my only form of attack, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like maybe oh. once, once we get, like, a homing dash? If we get one. Also, I could not tell that that was a pit, and also the camera kept getting caught behind stuff. Hmm. Like, that looks like a wall. Okay, I guess there's a little bit of a ledge there. Hmm. 
incredibly not noticeable. This seems like a bad thing. Maybe it was a good thing? Genuinely can't tell. This one, um... Okay, is there really not any way for me to change the camera? Because, um... This seems like it is a game that is designed to be played with a key or a controller. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I found camera controls. Movement is on WASD. That is on like Z. Mm, gotcha. Okay. Um, so that's it for Sonic Relighted. <laughs> Uh, I am. It's just not easy for me to stream. Mm. Okay, I am going to turn a controller on for this next one, and it is the final one. Um, oh really? It is part of Sage still. Um, oh, I should say Sonic Relighted was David KBD and Lowest Polly. All right. Um, okay, so this next, this final one is, uh, still part of Sage, but it is not a Sonic fan game. It is, in fact, a Klonoa. But, Aww. this does not also, this one is also just automatically in full screen. And I can't do anything about it, it seems. There's no options mm. menu. Unfortunate. So let me set this up and then I'll just see what happens when I hit play. Alright, I guess I can't even use a controller. It's just WASD. Okay. There we are. very floaty jump but not necessarily a bad thing i love mm. how cute the enemies are yeah So you can just do the downward thing automatically by hitting the jump button again. Mm. I love these little flowers. Yeah, the flowers are really cute. Bonk. I guess I should have expected that to happen. jumps is really cool. <laughs> this is neat. I love the idea of 3D Klonoa. Mm-hmm. I would maybe make the jump slightly less floaty. Yeah. I don't think I can grab this. No. But I can damage you soften. Hmm. Important bit of technology. All right, this one's going to be some serious strategy. Here we go. Boom. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Also, that confirmed the fact that if you're in the air and you grab something, it'll pull you towards it. Mm. Okay. So not only just throwing things in the air, it pulls you. Grabbing things in the air attracts you. 
That's really cool. <laughs> that may just be a, a Klonoa mechanic. I'm just not familiar with any I of the gameplay stuff. I don't style. remember that. I know Chess streamed uh, Klonoa a while ago. Mm. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I know, like, it's just very basic animation, but it's still a very cute little idle animation. Mm -hmm. So look at the little buddy move. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I don't remember as much trick platforming being in Klonoa regular. Yeah. Do I try to take the shortcut here? Yes, do a crime. Oh, well, it's not a crime, it's a very much an intended shortcut. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I, I got a little, I was trying to do it with only three instead of four. Yeah, yeah, I think you need that, that one more. I love, I love also Klonoa's low poly hat. Mm hmm. It's a very cute Klonoa model. Yeah! It makes me wonder if there was actually a Klonoa 3D game at some point. No! Ooh, so close! I should have waited before using that last jump. Mm hmm. Alright, I'll give it one more try before going the long way around. I want to also grab that other gem. Like, I'm also going to want to come back and get the rest of those gems, too, is the thing. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm doing the shortcut for literally no reason other than to test my skill. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice proof of concept for the mechanics. Yeah, no, I think I just need to not grab that last one until I'm a bit lower, because otherwise I'm just pulling myself lower. Mmm. A little poof when they show back up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Rathorius, that's just Klonoa. Yeah. Rathorius in chat says uh, that they, like, have just a degree of snapping to the bird grabbing so it doesn't feel too unforgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell they've, they've spent a lot of time on this, like, very core mechanic, and it looks like it's... Uh, they've there we go. Have... Yay! Uh, and that's the tech, everyone. Hell yeah. Did still get bonked by a spike trap. I am now going backwards so I can collect all the gems. <laughs> oh, you can really just damage boost off these things. Yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah, I like how there isn't like a stagger, like a uh, pushback. No, it just like launches you directly in the opposite direction. Yeah. <laughs> There's also just like a lot of paths all of a sudden. Mm hmm. So, a thing that. Okay, no, we did do that earlier, where we threw an enemy at an enemy. Mm. It just goes. <laughs> I 
I just need my bird to return. Yeah. Return bird. I'm trying to get too fancy with these bird jumps. Nope, okay. I do need to use the slowdown in order to get this done properly. Mm. Nope. Hold on, we can do this. all on me. This is just very pleasant. Yeah, yeah, it's like... I, I like that they've got, like, the core identity of the game, like, down pat. It's just kind of a matter of, like, seeing what they do with it and also, like, you know, polishing assets later whenever they get to that. Mm -hmm. Should help him cross the bridge, okay. Just gotta be very careful to not double jump. Noah is very Sonic adjacent, I think. Mm. Like it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I was too busy clicking that I couldn't save myself. <laughs> well, I forgot that it'll launch me back when I shoot. Okay. I needed to remember that, so it's fine. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Oh, the button stayed pressed. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I see what's happening here. Mm. So, do you see underneath the bird there, the little reflection that's bouncing up and down? It's because yeah. we can see the water from up here. So it's just, it's a weird rendering error. Oh. Oh, this like, feels bad. That's like really <laughs> trippy. <laughs> I, I'm gonna need to use the slow mo in there. Mm. Bonk. Where's my red guy? Oh, there he is. Yeah, okay. Oh, I only missed five gems? Oh, I gotta... No, I'm not gonna go back in there. Um, that was very <laughs> fun. That was just a, a fun, pleasant little experience. Mm hmm Okay. So... That's all the fan games I have picked out to play for today. I have some others downloaded, but I'm not going to jump into them now. I yeah. think a fun little hour and 15 minute, hour 20 minute stream. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of different tastes. A lot of variety in, in just this pack alone. Yeah. Uh, and I'll even say, like, there's some stuff that I had downloaded. Like, there was, like, a fully 3D, like, regular behind-the-back 3D Sonic that I had mm -hmm. downloaded. That's, like, a lot with big maps and stuff it's impressive actually yeah, in a weird yeah. way um oh it didn't come up but uh Klonoa was by Taldius or at least was uploaded yeah. by Taldius yeah um so yeah go check out um the sage stuff the Sonic Amateur Games Expo yeah I think I will be getting some titles myself yeah, I think this has pushed me into trying some of these projects on my own. Alright, um, and with that, that is it for the stream, so bye everyone. Bye-bye!